Hey guys, Tom here, just doing a quick little review on the Spyderco Ambitious. So product number C148GP. Um, I this isn't my knife. I've I purchased this for actually my uh, for my boss. He wanted a little a little knife and he asked me for a recommendation because he um, he knows I'm into knives. So uh, I recommended uh, a couple of knives to him, a dragonfly and um, this little guy and uh, he, he saw this and he liked it right away so I made the purchase for him. So I'm going to uh, just do a quick little review um, just do an inspection of the knife, make sure it's in full working order uh, before I give it to him just because you know, I just want to make sure it's all good um, just in case there's a problem so I can return it to the uh, vendor or whatnot. But um, I previously owned myself a Spyderco Persistence. I wasn't a uh, large fan of it. I found um, I just I didn't there's something about it I didn't like. Um, but I actually really 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 dig this knife. The I think it's a perfect size for a small uh, EDC knife and um, it's uh, it's really nice. It's a nice little knife. It's uh, it's kind of stubby looking. It's, it's it's cool though. It's got a very nice, comfortable feel in hand and um, HCR 13 MOV steel, which is a very user friendly steel, and uh, it's it's a it's a decent steel for uh, for the average user. So, and it comes in at a just a two and a quarter inch cutting surface. So, very very good for a light light UCDC knife and um, comes with black G10 not grippy at all it's actually quite smooth I remember my persistence being a little bit more uh, grippy than this but you don't need too much texture for a little knife it's gonna be lightweight uh, comes with the the standard Spyderco pocket clip but with uh, the three this weird circular thing I wish it actually came with the standard uh, standard version, but uh, they got to accommodate the um, the lanyard tube for this one. Uh, it's got a leaf-shaped blade, very cool. Um, nice little upsweep on the belly here, full flat grind. Uh, very nice jimping, actually. It's uh, it's quite clean, quite nicely done. Pretty aggressive, actually, considering it's uh, it's nice. It's uh, way better jimping than on uh, on a Delica or a uh, Endura. It's not as grippy as like a paramilitary or a Mannix, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Don't know why they jimp this part. They only read that. Uh, the finger doesn't even touch that. Even if you push, it doesn't grip at all. But uh, I guess it's just for looks. It's, uh, it's got uh, nicely milled liners full flow through design a liner lock very smooth action too flick it open it's got nice jimping on the liner lock it's got an early lockup but I'm sure over time that will that will loosen up but uh, for a small lightweight knife that's perfectly perfectly fine you're not gonna have any failures on that and uh, Nice cutout there to, to make it very easy to open and close, or close rather. Nice, uh, pretty decent sized spider hole. This knife is um, reversible for the pocket clip for lefties, but uh, with this aggressive cutout, um, just for myself, I know the pocket clip is in the way, but really doesn't leave much uh, for the left-handed user. The persistence uh, and the tenacious and the resilience are a little bit bigger so you can get your finger in as it's a bigger blade but um, for the right-handed user this knife is uh, excellent. It's very cool. Might have to uh, pick one up for myself one of these days. It's um, uses uh, hex screws, 
hex screw construction and um, which makes it a little bit easier but it's, it's just one of those things that they use on the knife for the cost saving so that uh, I don't know what the difference is between a hex and a torque screw as far as the cost but I guess it's uh, I guess it's cheaper nice little uh, spider bug on the uh, pocket clip there but um, not a big fan of the the clip because it um, I find that I had the same thing on my persistence is it's really really tight it's very very hard to get into uh, to a pocket so I'm just looking for some paper so I can actually I'll just use the box so when you have it in your pocket you got quite a bit of knife sticking out and you compare that to a uh, a wire clip spider co should be nice if this had a wire clip on it you know you get that versus a knife sticking out to here so I don't not a big fan of that but it's a uh, it's a pretty good knife so I'll just do a quick size comparison just so you guys can get an idea spider co delica as you can see it's quite quite a way smaller than a Delica UK PK and we will do one more knife that people are familiar with get it out here a Kershaw OD one or two, I can't remember the model number um, but it's a uh, It's amazing how the blades are the same length with such a different profile on the blade or on the knife. It's so much smaller. But very cool. And we'll just do throw this in for kicks. Mini Griptilian. It's just a little bit smaller than a mini griptilian. It's got about the same handle purchase too. A little bit different, but so for the average user looking for a small EDC knife, this is an extremely, extremely affordable option. Came in around $30 uh, before shipping and, you know, shipping and handling and taxes and all that stuff. And um, very, very nice knife. So I'm going to uh, give it a little bit of lubrication on the pivot and give it a little strop, get it ready to go. And this knife will be making its way out uh, to its new owner soon. So, hope you like the little review, guys, and um, I will check you guys later. Have a good one.